Hello, this is Shosni, and I'm going to be showing you how to perform the item duplication glitch on Pokemon Yellow. I'm sure there's probably videos already out here showing you this, but I thought I'd record one anyway, and maybe it'll be slightly different to other people's. Anyway, we all know it's pretty easy to duplicate items on red and blue. You just have to talk to the old man in Viridian City, and then fly off to Cinnabar and Bob's your uncle. In Yellow, it's a bit harder because he no longer teaches you how to catch Weedles. So, this is what we can do instead. It's generally known as the Mew Glitch, or sometimes the Ditto Glitch. And I think this is the safest way of doing it. I'm using Pokemon Stadium, because it's a bit hard to record off of my Game Boy. Well, Game Boy Advance SP, I guess. And my Super Game Boy doesn't have Dodrio Tower, which is awesome. So, this is yellow, loading up. You need a few things before you can get this glitch to start properly if you're going to do it for item duplication, so I'll go through them once the game starts. And once it's finished loading, I'll be able to speed it up a bit. Whee, go fast, Pikachu! Anyway, Pokemon on the other version. Continue. As you can see, I've completed the game, but I don't think it matters too much as long as you can get to the right areas. And I'm here in Cerulean City. If you love me. Um, Pokemon on hand. I've got Pikachu, Mew, and Mewtwo. They're not important. They're just like, here to help me. Pidgeot has Fly. Pick and go. Diglett has Dig, which is important. And Ivysaur is my special Pokemon. As you can see, it is a level 100 Ivysaur, which is generally kind of a fail. But it has a special stat of 183. That's an important number. There are three important specials that can do this glitch safely. Well, safer than other numbers anyway, and 183 is one of them, as we will see in a bit. When you do the Mew glitch, you can get any Pokemon to appear in the wild and battle it. For example, that's how I have Mew on my game, just in case you didn't notice. A special stat of 21, I believe, makes Mew appear, and depending on what the special is, you can get different things to appear. A special of 183 makes Missing No appear. Quite a few of the special stats make Missing No appear, but 183 makes a special Missing No appear. So, First of all, you need to have a long-range trainer, as one of the guides call them, unbattled. So I'm using this guy here, next to Nugget Bridge. There are a few of these in the game, I'm sure you can find a walk through. He's probably the easiest one to find, or you can use the juggler near Lavender. Anyway, stand one square away from him at the top of the screen, and walk down, and as you walk down, you've got to press start. So, if it works, your menu comes up, and he hasn't seen me. So I immediately choose my Pokemon. Pidget, you're going to fly me, and we're going to go to... Into your plateau. He'll notice me, but Pidget dives in and flies away before he gets to battle. So he's left there kind of just hanging really. Now, at this point I can't use my start menu. I try pressing start and nothing happens. But I can use the PC. So I'm gonna go to Bill's PC and change boxes. When you change your Pokemon box, data will be saved. That's exactly what we want to happen. Okay? The data is saved, now we quit and restart. So, now that we've done that, we should have fixed the being unable to press start thing, which is kind of useful. But the game still thinks we're meant to be battling that guy. So, when the game comes in, it'll still think we're in the middle of a battle. So we've got to battle a trainer to stop it thinking we're battling. And I'm going to use the Elite Four. You can use other trainers, just randomly hanging about, but if you've beaten most of the trainers in the game, you might not have many, and you'll eventually run out. So, using the Elite Four, you can use them again and again and again, because you can battle them as much as you like. And that's really why I have Pikachu, Mew, and Mewtwo with me, because they can destroy the Elite Four, because they're really high levels. Okay, so, this is going to take, hopefully not too long, we'll just go through the Elite Four. You've probably seen this before. Thunderbolt destroys Lorelei. And Dodrio Tower means it's pretty fast. So you can just sit back and watch for a while. Hmm, it's not weak to Thunderbolt. Yeah, Pikachu doesn't care much. It's level 83. Can Lapis have Thunderbolt? No. Okay, Lorelei's done now. Okay, Pikachu's not going to beat Onyx though, is it? So, you can see I can use the menu again now. Very useful. We'll use Mew against him. 
Actually, I should probably use that uh, event. Me will do. Psychic. Boom. Uh, Mega Punch. Oh, I missed. And he's defending himself. I should probably just use something sensible in case I get paralyzed or burnt. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna save my psychic PP. That's really why I'm doing this glitch at the moment. Now we're just psychic him. So, since uh, you can't use the old man glitch to duplicate items in this game, I'm using this glitch instead. So, when I'm finished this, I'll be able to have all the PP I like. Psychic. And here comes Golbad. Yeah, I've got that Pikachu take Golbad on. Okay, we'll go back to you. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Let's see if Pikachu can be that look. Let's see if it doesn't glare. Yeah, Super Potion didn't help much. Why did they use Super Potion when it was on full health at the start of the game? Or start of the turn. Did they predict I was going to use an attack? And there exactly there. Okay, we'll switch Pikachu back to the staff, the Gyarados. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. And here's that. Yeah, virtually indestructible. We'll see about that. Psychic. Pikachu can beat that. No focus sash for you, Aerodactyl. <laughs> Not fun, though. Aw, oh, critical hit, you died. Never mind. Pikachu can pitch it off. Assume by not very effective, they need normal effectiveness, but whatever. Anyway, the Pokemon League champion once I've beaten Gary. Uh, let's just see him quickly, shall we? Doom -de -doom -de -doom. I guess red and blue are more typical names, but this is yellow, which is basically anime, so I think Ash and Gary are fine. I don't need anything psychic. Well, maybe I should have uh, amnesia'd up. Bam! Executive mode survive, but it won't take two hits. And I can't do much back except put me to sleep, I guess. But never mind. So, this is, as you can see, the longest part of this glitch. And throughout all this time, he's still hanging in the middle of that battle against the junior trainer next to Nugget Bridge. So the game is still kind of upset that we haven't finished that, even though I've saved it and done all sorts of things in between. Bloody bloody blah. He was upset, Gary's already blast. Etc. 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 Entering into the Elite Four, Elite Four, Hall of Fame, whatever. You do. Pidget didn't do much. You. I also also didn't do much. David definitely didn't do much. Pikachu. Save the game. Perfect suiting. I've got quite a few Pokemon. And now we have to see through the credits. Well, doesn't take too long at triple speed. See if you can identify the Pokemon zooming past very quickly. Is that Vacuum? Nido something? 
I can't tell. It's a curse. Parasite. That was definitely Parasite. And it saves, and we're done. Back in the game. Right, now we can finish off the glitch. First thing, first thing I guess I'll just heal my Pokemon up. Right. Now, we're still in the middle of the glitch, and that guy is still waiting to battle us. But first, we're going to go to Cinnabar Island. This being yellow version, this is the only place to find wild dittos. And plenty and plenty of wild raptors. So, make your way to the basement, which you get to by going upstairs, of course. Just ignore any of these you find. I guess I could use a repel, but I am stingy even though I have lots and lots of money. Okay, just make sure I fall off in the right place. Oh, something else wants to fight. Ah, uh, luck. And downstairs, this is where we find it. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Now we just need to run about until we find one. Okay, there should be one somewhere. More about cakes. Let's just go away from that. Yeah, just wait till I find one. Kind of like it is, but not quite. I'm not sure exactly what the encounter rate for Ditto is. I guess it's pretty low, but. It should find it sooner or later. One good thing is, it doesn't matter how many Pokemon we find before we find it, so we can just keep going until it appears. There we go, Ditto. Now, the first thing is, I want to switch in my Super Ivysaur before Ditto uses Transform. Now, Ditto uses Transform and becomes an Ivysaur with the same special style as my Ivysaur, which, as you remember, is 183. So it doesn't really matter what we do now, we will just run away from it. Now, we mustn't encounter any more Pokémon after that. So, that's why I've got Diglett. He can dig us out of here and get us back something useful. Now, Pidget flies us back to Cerulean, which is where the glitch began, as you remember. Right. We're going to meet Missing Note, so the important thing is to have our sixth item slot, the thing we want to duplicate. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. PP up. As you can see, I've already done it with rare cans. So, we're aiming to get as many PP ups as, well, we'll probably ever need. So, just walk up here, and when you go to the area where he was, aha, the menu has opened. I didn't press anything there, it opened automatically, and our quit outfit would be and we go into a wild Pokemon battle automatically against an Aerodactyl fossil. Yep, it's missing there. The Aerodactyl, Kabutuk fossil and uh, Ghost are the safe ones, I think. We'll just run away from him. I guess you could catch it if you wanted to, but I don't want to take the risk. And we check my items. Da -da -da. We now have Weird Civil 9 PP ups. That is 129 PP ups. Okay. Yeah, not gonna run out of psychics anymore. Well, less likely to run out of psychics. So, that is the anti duplication glitch, as it were. Or new glitch, ditto glitch. Now, the weird question is really how I got the Ivysaur. I actually got Ivysaur using exactly the same glitch. Ivysaur has a much lower special needed to encounter a wild Ivysaur, so I just kept going until I found Ivysaur. Ivysaur is one of those special Pokemon, but if you encounter it at level 1, it will level up to 100 straight away just after winning one battle and getting a tiny bit of experience. And I looked very carefully and found a Pokemon who, at 100, level 100 and no stat experience, could potentially have a special 183. So, I found Ivysaur, kept finding Ivysaurs until I found one with the right DBs to get a 183 special. And I guess the other question is how I got it at level 1. Normally you find the Pokemon via this method at level 7. 
you notice the missing note is level 7. But if you use some move that changes the um, attack level of the Pokemon you're fighting against, so like how many sword stances or growls it's had against it, whatever, that will change the level of the Pokemon. If you growl at it six times, it will go down six levels and end up at level one, so that's what I did. I guess you could make it increase its level if it was a ditto by making it copy something with sword stance and wait until it uses sword stance and go up, and then you'd get something with a higher level than seven, but that's not really very useful. So, that's how to do the glitch, and hope you've enjoyed watching. And uh, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments. Goodbye.